ready to go. Hey, let's get this. Come on. Come on. Hey, Mandy. Hello. Hey, Mandy. You come in like MacGyver. Rawr. Like riding a bull. <laughs> Are you ready to film this 10 by 28? Hang on. I don't know if I got my... I got to turn my... Let me see if I'm turned on. Let's see if we got <laughs> <laughs> Yep. I'm going. Mine may go dead, but that's okay. I'm going. Yeah, mine's going dead, but that's I'm loud good enough. good and going at the same time. I'm I know. Going. <laughs> Let me so, scoot back and show this. This is a replica of the Charleston you said, right? Yes. I'm just kind of being... You said... <laughs> so a couple things on our model line this is this is like the charleston we went inside i'm going to show you the floor plan there's only one change that we've made on our charleston model of course the outside is totally different yeah right? that dormer uh had, we have an overhang of course that goes all the way across it sticks out probably six eight inches outside here with faux rafters coming out the overhang is 30 inches long. I went ahead and did this, not 36, it's 30 inches sticking out here with all the colors of the LP siding and the trim and the roof and the corbel um, decorative. We got flower boxes and this is gonna be gorgeous. But the floor plan is what we got inside. Let me show the other side over here. This is a gorgeous home. It was a 10, 10 by 30 and it's all wood. Oh, it looks beautiful. Yeah. And this is what we call as our salt box. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And that's lap siding. And our trim. Yeah. Oh, that's cool looking. And this is the exact size that it's going to be. This is it. This is it. Yeah. This, this would be the this, Charleston. This is the Charleston house. Yeah. And the Charleston with dormers. Mm -hmm. The price on that is $79.2. Now you can get this house without dormers. All on one floor plan is sixty-six five forty, yeah. and that price is on our website. If you guys want to go on this, now this is ten by thirty, three hundred square feet, not including the loft. You put the loft is probably going over your four hundred square feet. Now picture this house. I have to talk a little bit louder because my microphone. Died. Yeah. I didn't get to uh, charge it, but picture this house with this siding. There you go. That's the oyster. Uh, shell that we picked. Right. The light color. Let me back and go back. Look at that color. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. I'm almost positive. Now, I'm not sure, but that could be the French gray. The French gray. Okay. I'm not sure. Well, then throw, if you're playing pretend. <laughs> We're playing pretend right now. Let's throw an overhang on that dormer that sticks out over with yep. faux rafters. Mm -hmm. It sticks out 30 inches, 30 inches with corbels. All this overhang sticks out more. We're looking a home, man. I'm talking. It's going to look so like pretty. even more of a home than this. This yeah. is a gorgeous home, but that's why I changed my models up. I want them to look different. Yeah. Let me get closer up on this um, the LP and show that. There's the contrast right there. That could be the French gray. I'm not sure. Right. I know this is the oyster shell. Yeah. Right here. But um, God, that's pretty. And things I'm going to point out the things that we're going to do in our model homes is. You know, this was a custom plug that the the customer wanted for, yeah. you know, uh, Christmas lights. Right. We're actually going to put in the gables up here uh, a light fixture in each yeah. gable. All right. We're probably going to put some plugs up here for your Christmas lights. Yeah. There's a lot of little things that's going to come along with these model homes that, that we haven't shown you yet. Right. You know, so it's going to be a turnkey. And somebody said, how can a turnkey be without appliances? And the reason we're not doing appliances is because I have learned that people want their own refrigerator and their washer and dryer. Pick their own colors. They are, yeah, it is like so selective now of what kind of appliances they it's want. It's a personal thing, yeah. yeah. Now we'll, some people, you know, a lot of the fridges have the freezer on the bottom. You may not want that. Yep. You may want a regular one up on top, or you might want a stainless steel, or a black one, or red, or exactly. something. Exactly, exactly. Okay. So, but there you go. Well, let's go inside and look at this one. Okay. All right. 10 by 20. 10 by 20. Oh no. Ain't it? Yes, I'm yeah. sorry. I was saying 30. Yeah, 10 by 28. 10 by 28. Yeah. Let me show this to the end. Now, how is it with the model? Okay, in the model, we're coming on the side. So there's two It'll things we're the changing. Side. The door is on the side, mm -hmm. and there's one inside. I'll show you one okay. little change inside. Right. So, yeah, the door is on the side. And I'm glad we made that change 
from the door on the, on the side mm -hmm. is that window will shove in the middle. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is this is a traffic area, right? And that's where the door is going to be. And the door will come here. Okay. So yep. And so the door is going to open this way. So when you open, you walk into the room. Yes. And your switches will be to the left. Okay. So, this, so that door will be here. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Picture window, 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 a lot hey, of cross. Picture this is no door there. So that would be a big picture window, right? Yes. Yeah. Now, I want to point out that this home was built by our Amish partnerships. And they've been trained by us. We've went up there a ton of times. And we've walked them through this. And the same house we showed yesterday was a 10 by 20 that they had built. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to bore you, but I've got to brag on them. I want to show you their quality of work. Yeah. The whole house has been polyurethane. And just the trim, you guys, if you want to see this, Samuel trimmed this. Samuel's a, um, one of the Amish families up there. Mm -hmm. Let me He's this. just yeah. He is a trim carpenter, and he takes pride in his trim work all around these windows. Uh, there was stuff, just, just this line right here, right? This piece of trim that hits the ceiling, it's just spot on. You know, I just, I want to brag about them. Another thing, um, they put little access, they put hinges on for the access to your valve. Yeah. Everybody wants to see, this is to your sprinkler system mm -hmm. up top. And okay. then, and then. Which is right there. Yep. And, and he's he, got it trimmed out. Let me show that. Put a little octagon on with it. With a little octagon. Last night, the boys had put a little star yeah. around it, which is really cute. He put this on here. Um, so you got your shower valve here. So the only mechanical thing in here that you need to access is this. And if you didn't have this access door, You'd have to tear this wall apart, you know, sure. cut a big hole in. So we leave that. And I know this can... There's the corners there you were trying to show. Oh, yeah, they fortified yeah. this here. We go up in the loft. We'll show you how they left Pretty. this lip. And then all the trim is just nice and tight. Yeah. And look, I mean, if I can find an imperfection, I'll be glad to show you. Or we'll just show you kind of the, the base along the floor. The well, this is definitely your favorite. Let me go over here and show back because you love showing that big living room. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's just, you don't get, you know, even in a park model, Amanda, a lot of park models will, and this is not even 12 foot wide. Yeah. You don't get a living room this large. No, you do And not. so if you take that door and you put it over by the steps, look how big this living room is now. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because here's where the door, where you're going on the Charleston. Yeah. You're coming over here. You're coming, okay. coming there with a the right hand swing door. Okay. So you got this big living room, which allows now for a sofa, 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 sure. anywhere you want to put. And look, we put plugs on each side in the back, each side, right? Mm -hmm. And this one will have two plugs later on because the door won't be there. Right. Okay. So that allows you to arrange your, your furniture the way you want. Also, I like this general area here because you can put a table. Sure. It can be a workstation. It can be a dining room table. Look how clean this can be. I know there's nothing in here, but I'm just saying you could put a table, chairs, TV, TV up here. Yeah. And well, it just fits think about, like a home. Look, remember whenever we went to the, the show and the women's show in Knoxville? Yeah. And I had put a bench. The way you right staged there, it. Yeah. The way we staged it and had plenty of room. And that was a 10 by 20. This is a 10 by 28. And the eight feet we put back here in the bedroom. Yeah. So think about it now. If you don't want to, if you, if you can't spend the 79 two and you want for 66, 540, something like that, this can all be living on one floor. This is an overflow. So yes. this is a master bedroom up here. You can look, go up the steps nice and gingerly. It's not tall. Like you don't, you're not stepping up 12 inches. Those are seven and five, eight rise. That's what you would find in a regular residential home. Those stairs are easy to go up and down. They are. And I can stand up. I'm 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, yeah, let's go on up there. So I can stand up on this step. I've only yeah. got one step left. So there's the egress. Now, somebody might be asking, what about railings? What about looking over into that room? Now, we don't close off the master suite or here, right? And on these models, we did not include railings. Now, on the model homes that we're going to be putting out, we'll put a small rail sure. up here. We'll yeah. add that small rail. But the airflow from this mini split 
will blow right on in through there. Yes. Okay, and if it didn't, then we'd have to have some sort of air exchange Something. that would put that air back inside there. So how big is this space right here? Okay, so that's eight by eight. It's like, you know, okay. about 70 square feet, 60, you know, eight times eight is 64, but um, it's a little bit longer this way. Okay. So it's, you know, you can put a, a king size mattress on. Okay, king size mattress, great. Yep. All right, let me come down. I know we got the beadboard on the ceilings, the one by eight, and in our new models, these will be painted white, mm -hmm. and all your trim and your ceiling will be urethane with a natural finish. Oh shoot, he was there for so long, and I don't know where he's at now. Let's see. He was right there. Come here, Ice! Come here, boy! Dang it. I know it. I know, he, was, he stood there for the longest time. Okay. Alright, so. Now the kitchen. Living room, loft done, kitchen is uh, the same as the model. So here on the model floor well, plan. show the floor plan. Let's show that. Yeah. So let's just turn this around. So we're standing here. I know this is a oh, kind of a rough sketch. Let me let the dog Look, he's scratching. Come he's here. a good boy. Good boy. What a good boy. Oh my goodness. How good. <laughs> okay. So here's your cooktop. Okay. Microwave stand you've got your sink and then over here this. is a tall fridge so it's the same layout okay so what I like about it is you got your fridge mm -hmm. you got your sink you got your countertop you got your cooktop you got your range hood you got your microwave all set mm -hmm. it just flows really well you There's got really two nice circuits cabinets. yep mm -hmm. Now they got two circuits. The reason we put this so close together is because over here you got your cooking, you know, so you don't want really a plug, you can't set much here. So we got two separate circuits, coffee makers, whatever you want, mm. blenders and stuff on here. Of course, there's your your sink. Oh now what we want to say is that and somebody brought this up in the comments last night, you're gonna get a farm style sink in the models. Exactly. You're not gonna get this kind There you of go. Sink. You're hey. gonna get a farm style sink. Yeah, have a nice apron on the front of it, it'll yep. be really pretty. Farm style. Uh, can you show this? They did that on their own. Yeah, that was another thing they had done. Just, yeah. just make it. They didn't have. They could have just made it straight. They did it so pretty. They took the time to make it different. Yeah. Like okay. up here, this trim here, above this light fixture. Yeah. Yeah. So they angled it there. Mm-hmm. Yep. I also, you know, I actually like a a wall mounted kitchen instead of the puck lights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. I agree. Now this is. And look at the shine on this. That's probably. Poly, they polyed the whole house. Yeah, it looks nice. Of course, barn door goes with the house. Now, the one change we're going to make besides the door, you've got your shower. Well, do you want to tell this first? Yeah. All right. So you guys can see it's probably just it looks a little narrow in here. The reason is because the owner wanted a 36 inch shower. Sure. And so that's pushed this thing over over um, more than four inches. Yes. Okay. So then look you put that. the like when you walk through. Look, we would have. To, okay. So if I'm here. I could like stand right there with <laughs> like act like you're washing. Go by me. Act like you're washing dishes. Wash so I'd have to. I'm drying my hands. I'm drying my hands. It's not there. <laughs> well, this is how I. This is how I wash dishes. Nobody pass by you. <laughs> That's how you wash dishes. Okay, so look. If I want here, stand right there. Yeah. So if I have to go, so. <laughs> so I. We're stuck. <laughs> I threw you into the bath. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, we love Tara's place now. Okay. That's why a 36 inch shower don't work. <laughs> so you are in danger. If you're in the kitchen in this house, you're in danger of getting wet. <laughs> yeah. So on the Charleston, the sink stays, toilet stays, but you get a 30, a 32 inch shower. 32 inch shower. And then this wall goes straight across. Okay. All right. That's and back in her is a water eater. But tell why it goes straight across. I'm going to go to the bedroom and show you. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, so let's walk through here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Oh, wow. Here's the, why so, did you get, I didn't show the bedroom. Hold on. All right, let me show the bedroom like this. So okay. this is the bedroom. Now, the bedroom is only eight feet wide. So if you had a if you had a king-size mattress, it's going to come probably seven of oh, 12 inches yeah. for that wall. It's great for a queen. It's going to be up against the wall. Yes. It's just the way it's designed. That's what a Charleston does. It's eight, 10 by 28. I mean, really. It's a tiny house. It's beautiful. Yeah. This right here will be a closet. Yes. Or your washer and dryer. 
Yes. Okay? So okay. a stackable washer and dryer or a closet. So you'll have the hookups for washer and dryer or you could use it as a closet. And look, there is your loft. Loft. Yeah. Yeah. So we all put, you can see in a bedroom, we put these shorter windows. These are 3030 windows. Okay. It allows for headspace. So if you had a headboard here, it, the window's not going inside okay. like this, you know. Mm -hmm. So you can arrange your bedroom anywhere you'd like. You can even put a bed this way, Amanda. You could. Right? And have that whole area open well, and have it. And if you're a single person, you might be a single person, have just a smaller bed. It, well, you, I mean, you can't do it, I guess, if you put the, I forgot. If you put your claws in here, you can't do that. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yes. So mm -hmm. either going to go, it's going to go this way. Yeah. But I like it because the way the closet is now, you've got to walk around the toilet. And this way, you can get access to that closet from your bedroom. So if you have your bed right here, you got your washer and dryer, right. yeah, or a closet. But that's it. Now again, I'm gonna brag about my guys. I mean, look how beautiful this trim mm -hmm. is. I'm excited. You guys, you oh, all have to be excited job. of the craftsmanship that we're 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 having here. Yeah. I and mean, it's just mm -hmm. on the money. Oh, they we're so turning, much. we're turning a new tide, everybody. Mm -hmm. Is that, is that how you say it? You're no. turning a new tide. Yeah. How's that? How do you say that, man? Yeah. Turning a new, we're turning a page. Turn, well, the turn the tides. I guess that's right. What? I, I don't know. The I tide think. has turned. The tide has turned. The tide's <laughs> rolled in. <laughs> the, well, I think the tide is high. Is that it? It's a high tide. It's a high tide. Is that a haiku? I don't know. Yeah. Hey, all right. So next subject, we're going to talk about our mountain property across the street. Yeah. A few things that we uh, wanted to discuss just to clear the air. Okay. We announced that we had approximately 20 lots across the road. Yeah. And to place this house on a lot, right, if we've added a $20,000 expense on top of the house. Mm -hmm. Now, for that, you we set up the house. We put skirting on the house. We hook it up to your water, your power, your sewer. We put a shed. Mm -hmm. We build a deck. We put steps. We get it all going. ANSI certification. Everything. You don't have to do anything. You just pull up, park, yeah. throw your stuff in the house, and lay we down. We haul it over. We level everything. Yeah. So, and of course, so we're not selling lots individually, mm -hmm. right? So the only we don't sell lots. We don't do anything like that. When you get on that property then you'll pay a $300 a month fee. That's a rent fee. You're renting the earth. Mm -hmm. That's what you're doing. Right. I know, and um, so you have access to that lot as long as you renew your lease every year. All right, so um, just wanna make sure that that's clear for everybody to understand. So there's, we do not lease lots just alone. We, the lots go with the homes like all of our lots in all of our communities, they're only, our homes are the only ones allowed on these lots. So any lots that are here will have an ITH home on them. That's what we do. We build houses and That's develop lots. Yeah. yeah. So across the street, which is the, the mountain property, it's gorgeous. I'm, I'll let you come out there Friday. If you guys tune in Friday, we'll do another update of what's going on across the street, show yeah. some more lots. But we do have 20, so if you wanted this house on a lot, set up, ready to rent and live in, you're looking at um, a, a $20,000 charge mm -hmm. added to this, and that will get your house on the lot, and then you have a lease for a year, and you just renew it every year, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And you pay $300 a month, and that's it. So, big question is, so they would say, then why am I gonna pay $20,000, right? for a lot mm -hmm. that I don't own. Right. And so I was thinking about that and going over with uh, a few folks and we were talking about it. So the way the land, the way land prices are going up and for you to take a, a home and buy a piece of property and put the infrastructure on that property yourself, water, power, sewer, plumbing and everything, and then, of course, we're gonna have a gated community and you've got neighbors like in all tiny homes is a big deal, part of that. So you're getting all that for the 20. Yeah. Now, you can stay there. It's, you pay 20, you can stay there for 
as long as you just renew your lease. That's all every year. So, but if you had to go out and buy your own land and develop your own land, it'd be considerable about more plus just getting all that done, the time frames of getting all that done and just knowing how to do it. So some people might say, hey, I can do that. That's a piece of cake. I can buy land for $5,000 and put it on. Then, then you need to go do that. Right. But also think about if you're, some, if you're somebody that wants to be in a community, it's a gated community, mm -hmm. and you're living on the mountain with other like-minded tiny home people that we hope is going to be a beautiful place to live. That's a, that's a, a, a commodity mm -hmm. that you're getting along with purchasing over there on the mountain. It's just like these folks here, they did mm -hmm. the same thing. So, and also there are, um, when this home, when your home is built and is put on the mountain, then your rent begins immediately after the lots are ready and your house is right. ready and everything's on there, okay? I know a few years ago we offered two years free rent and all that. We no longer offer that deal, no. all right? So right. I wanna be very specific on how I said all that because just I don't want any confusion. You guys don't need to be wasting you know, your time of trying to figure that out. So all we do is we rent the earth that the house is sitting on and that's it, okay? Now, another thing, our responsibility as the community owners mm -hmm. is that we do not mow, we don't tree, trim trees, we don't weed eat, we don't landscape, we don't do any of that, okay? That is done by the homeowners. You can plant trees, you can see people put up beautiful fencing and they've done all kinds of beautiful stuff around their homes. What we do is we maintain the roads, we keep them open, any trees that fall, we'll take care of anything like that. There's no garbage pickup, there's no satellite services, there's no electric. We furnish the utilities and then you pay for those utilities, water, power, and sewer, and if you have internet, you pay for that. Right. So all we're doing is putting all that in there in for you, and then you lease that property from us. Mm -hmm. And then in, in turn, you know, we keep, uh, like we're gonna have a gated community and there's gonna be so many other amenities as we grow mm -hmm. as a community. That's 160 acres and we plan on doing a whole lot with that 160 acres. There's oh, gonna, yeah. who knows what, I mean, I've thought about wellness centers and you know, a, you know another lodge over there, maybe an off-grid, uh, I've always wanted an off-grid restaurant. Mm -hmm. You know, over here, we're, I'm already planning on some retail shops that we're putting mm -hmm. across here. There's a lot of stuff happening and you have to wait for that. And I know you have to trust me on that. You're thinking, well, um, it's not there. What if it never happens? Okay, if it never happens, you're only paying $200 a month. Right. You're getting what you paid for. Across the street, you're getting your lot. You're getting your 300, and for $300 a month and you stay on that mountain property and it's a gated community. Mm -hmm. It's worth, if I never do anything, it's worth what you're paying. Okay, so there you go. I hope it was plain enough to spell out that you understand and that'll help you decide if, if you need to do that. Yeah. You know, I invite people, you know, and say, hey, we're just slam so busy trying to go, but you know, I know some people want to touch it and they want to see it and they want to feel it. And if you want to, there are, you can go to our website, you can set up visits. You need to come here and look, you need to come and meet us. There's certain times, Love to talk to people. We love to meet each other. The thing is, is you know, this is a big business we got going on. It's just we're we're doing really well and we're growing and it's exciting and there's just a lot going on. And that's why we have time set aside that if somebody does come, make an appointment. Love to talk to you. Love to show you what we're doing. And two, you know, I just want to say how we just started back the visits uh, to here and Becky and Twala and I think Paula is helping with that. Possibly mm -hmm. Luann's going to help as well. They're gonna yeah. volu they volunteer That's awesome. their time. They're residents that live here that volunteer their time and it's going great. They're all taking a day volunteering and um, you know they'll they'll let us know if someone's interested in, in buying or you know they'll show you around. Mm -hmm. They'll tour, your, tour you over here at the forest, the beach, and the prairie. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think they're going over to the mountain. I'm not sure, but we can ask that. Yeah, it's been a little muddy. Yeah. But if there are people that want to see the mountain, we'd be glad to show you. Mm -hmm. You know, and then we'll tour you and, and an appointment and take you across. Sure. There's okay. nothing here. There's nothing in this whole place mm -hmm. 
that we're ashamed of not showing. No. A lot of times what we do is I know inside our workshop, I'm just so frustrated with the interns that I can't bring people in there and show them around. But we're hoping to hopefully in the future going to arrange something that we can watch. People can watch our manufacturing process, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. So, but anything else we need to cover? Um, geez, I think that's it. You know, we might want to think about there might be another house that, um, that's because just to remind you, this is not the actual house. This right. is the uh, a, similar, a similar house. Yeah, exactly. Just picture it when we showed the outside with the corbels, with the overhangs, with the uh, flower boxes and the LP siding and everything like that. Faux so, rafters and that, yeah. Yeah, so. And the inside will be white walls and natural ceilings and yes, trim, you know. That's right. It's a turnkey house. Yeah, so, beautiful. Yeah, we just, you know, and somebody said, hey, my gosh, you don't have professional architectural drawings on your website and you don't have a physical model to walk through. You know what I say? Yep, you're right. And that's the way it is. Uh, uh, yeah. We're a small company and we don't have the finances or the time to build a model, you know? And we hope that people trust what we've done, our craftsmanship and how we build homes. And and uh, we showed our our building and our yeah. process mm -hmm. and how we're, at, how we're trying to do. So we try to bring you enough information that you can trust us and see what we're doing. And I told uh, somebody, I said, you know, some customers won't buy, mm -hmm. and that's fine. I totally understand, they just can't go there. We'll do our best in the future to become more and more uh, like that if we can, but right now it's just not feasible for us. And I thought about, Amanda, when we started the forest, yes, we didn't have any roads, power, no. water, sewer, nothing. Didn't have Did, we didn't have anything. And then what do we do? We stand out there in the middle of the woods we did. and said, hey, does anybody want to live here? And if you do, you got 30 days to take $6,000 from 30 people. And if I get that, I'll develop 30 lots. Yeah. And that's what started the whole ball game. It is. So yeah. if you think about it, I'm standing in the middle of the woods with not a road, power, water, sewer. There was nothing there. No. And for $6,000... I'm going to give you a lot, and then two years free rent. That's that's what sparked and got everything going. Yeah, it is. And I didn't have anything to show you, and people trusted us. So from since since then, that's the way we've had to conduct our business. We're growing fast, right? We're finishing up all of our homes that are on our books right now. We'll be done in about four or five months. When we're done with that, we're starting our new models. We're starting our our incredible boxes. I'm so excited about that. Everybody's pumped up. We're thinking, we're hoping we can knock out almost a hundred of those in less than 90 days. That'd be so you know, exciting. we are just stockpiling, you know, our materials and stuff. This year is we really hope to impress the public and impress the world about what we're doing and how we're and how we're 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 uh, perfecting our process. Yeah. You know, and I know I've bragged about you know our partnerships and our models that will be built in. Kentucky at our our Amish. We have a full-time supervisor that lives there. We're actually going there tomorrow. Two more of our, our guys here, Tom and, and David, mm -hmm. are going up tomorrow. We're up there all the time and it's worth our investment on them, as you can see, in this quality of work, mm -hmm. the quality of people that we're working with, mm -hmm. and we're investing all that time and it's growing. Yeah. So we're excited about where this is going. There's nobody in the country that's tapping in to what we're doing. No. Nobody's thinking like we're doing, where we're going, the models that we're doing, creating a model that looks like it's it's a real home that come out of the nostalgia architectural time of the United States. This is the corbels, the overhangs, the faux rafters, and all that stuff that comes out. I just hope you guys enjoy these models and see if we can keep building. And we're getting ready to build our first one at, um I think Zach's going to build the first one, the Abington. Yes. And then I think that we're going to be building a Lexington yeah. and a Birmingham. Two Birmingham. That's right. I think. Two so, Birmingham's. Yeah, so we're coming on. And then I don't know what the lady, I think she bought, uh, she's, it's not went through yet, but she got the all black package, number 13, which is funny. Yeah. We didn't even do it on purpose. But um, number 13, the, the all black exterior package. And I think <clears throat> she's getting an 8 by 24 I think. Really? <coughs> I 
I think so. That's exciting. Yeah, so we'll we'll update you if, if she follows through with it. And yeah. I mean it's we got more coming. Sam's excited. He's very busy. If you're interested uh -huh. in a model home, go to the website. Go to the website. Yeah. Website, website, website. We've navigated through for you on a show, showing you how to go through it. We've had a lot of people go through it. Um, there's a couple little things. One drawing was was off. I had a, I had a side door. It's supposed to be an end door. We got to fix and, that. Um, you know, and just different little things. And people were nice. I love yeah. how people, hey, misspelled a word or something. It's just, we're real, everybody. This is who we are. And I'm a carpenter, and we're building a company. And so we, we uh, it's just organic. Yeah. And, but, the thing I want to tell you is that the amount of work and effort that we're putting in this thing, Amanda's yawning at me. She I'm it. sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. We've been here, I've been here a long time. A long time. So we're going to cut this video down. we got to get going home. And uh, But thanks for tuning in, watching this. Yeah. Subscribe to this channel. Put your thumbs up. Let's go. <laughs> Whatever you got to do. And I hope you enjoyed this. This is a Charleston. Yeah. Yep. 10 by 28, eight-foot bedroom, kitchen, bathroom, living room. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Great rental if you like a rental. Love it. Right? Mm -hmm. And it's uh, 79 and 66. Yeah. Depending on if you want dormers or not. There you go. This has been, we've been super technical lately, Amanda. But it's helped. And the reason why, I know we've not been doing a lot of fun, fun stuff and things like that. But right now is, is time to be serious because yeah. we have switched over from custom builds to the model home. Yeah. And we, we really, really want you to, to be informed and we clarify and that we correct ourselves and whatever we have yeah. to do to let gotta, you know. Got to help, help yeah. do that. And also, we do have some volunteers that are helping us mm -hmm. with the, um, the landscaping of the beach. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you all will be starting to yep. see some different stuff going on with the beach. We're going to yeah, put some topsoil in here. We've got mm -hmm. some uh, little palm trees that Miss Ponder gave us, and she's planted them. And then we also we're going to do these boulevards. Yes. And so that's all going to start that's coming exciting. around. Yeah. And then probably in a couple weeks, I'd say about two or three weeks, we've got some more big news that we'll share with you. We do. And yes. that's exciting that, that we can offer some more things. So. It, I just I like keeping things alive, right? Yeah. I just don't want to offer one model and done. And these models may not last. We may offer this to the end of the year, and I'll start a whole nother we model may line. Change. Yeah. But if it's real popular, we'll keep it. But I know I'll probably throw something in at the end of the year or next year. We'll put another line of one or two homes mm -hmm. in with it and build our portfolio. And please don't think because of the models and everything. Please don't think that we have forgotten about the giveaway house. We are still yep. building it. And we are still working on getting those names, getting all the names together, yeah. 100,000 subscribers. And we are going to pick a date when we're going to do the drawing. Yeah. So we've not forgotten about nope. it. Nope. Nope. No not way. at all. Nope. God, there's so much to talk there's about. There's so much. And we've got more coming on to offer them probably this Friday. I'll have to remind you. Um, I made a note today. Really? Yeah. So. It's just fun to have stuff happening, <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, so it's like the website; we just keep moving and changing it and adding it. to it, and, you That's know, right. all that, you know. And yeah. you know what? You know what's cool is we've never had a professional photographer. No. I wish we had. I, I wish we'd had because we have built so many gorgeous homes over the years, mm -hmm. and we've never had like these. You know, the tiny home guys do. They got beautiful model homes, and they feature them. But we change so much. I mean, mm -hmm. we built. What seven hundred plus? We've built more than yeah, more than seven hundred custom homes. Yes, custom. Yeah, we're pushing eight nine hundred floor homes plans that were just seven years out of this world. Somebody okay. sent me a somebody sent me a link to a house that raises up and down, mm -hmm. and we did that five years ago. Yeah, we had a house that raised up and down five, yeah. and we did it in a week in seven days. We built it in a week. Yeah. Come and on. it had pneumatic jacks that yeah. raised the entire roof up. Yeah. Whew. The lady had kids. We were before our time. Yeah. The workshops we had where people came and helped build their own home mm -hmm. in and out in six days, seven days. Yeah. We were before our time. I was thinking about that last night. I thought, could you imagine if we had that wait. workshop now? I'd probably be on Joe Rogan talk show by now. I mean, it's I like so it. popular. Yeah. I would love to do it again. I I had I would like to be just so detailed, organized, set up, done, and I think it was fun. I think we could have a lot of fun with that. But 
Um, anyway, we've done a lot of cool stuff in the past that I think has really been before everybody else. Very you know? cutting edge of this industry uh, yeah. for tiny homes. Cutting edge, Amanda. That's what I'm saying. All right. <laughs> We're gone. See you. Have a great night. Tune hey, in tomorrow. Seth, look at him. He's done. He's done. What you want, buddy? <laughs> Aww. So you guys have a great night. And we'll see you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Good day. Breathe in here. Oh.